So are the graphics on the new iPad any better than NVIDIA Tegra 3? We have two tablets in front of us. This is the ASUS Transformer Prime and the new iPad running the same game. This is a shadow gun, which is available on both platforms. And we're going to show you what they're both capable of. If you zoom in close here, um, this display is a little bit brighter. This is on super IPS mode. But the big difference between the two tablets is that the Tegra graphics you know, allows for the billowing cloth effects that you see up here. And that's not even an effect that's available on the shadow gun on iOS for the for the new iPad. You know, otherwise, I mean, the level of detail is pretty similar. You can see the billowing smoke here, um, and the detail on the character is pretty much the same. Although we can make out a little bit more detail in terms of some of the, the muscles. Um, but in other ways, the iPad is a little bit better because if you look at things like the text it looks like you know the level of detail is slightly better here but the bottom line is that Tegra for now gives you a better level of detail and some effects that you don't get on the iPad and we, but we expect developers to catch up on on the new iPad so we'll have to wait and see another game that we want to show you is Riptide GP and on this game it's it's all about racing and water effects and you'll notice with the tablet on the right running the Tegra that you'll get some effects that you don't get on the iPad version. Especially that, that you, see, you see that the water splashed up on the screen. It's just not something that's available on Riptide GP for the iPad. But what's interesting is that we actually prefer the screen on the iPad and the text is also crisper and then the sky looks a little bluer. So the colors are better on, on the iPad. But for now, I mean, you are getting some, you know, additional eye candy that you're not getting with the iPad with the Tegra 3 tablet.